This video isn't clickbait. This is actually something that happened recently. Right now we're actually going to go see Kai for the first time and we're gonna go take him to the vet. I got Kai sometime around the beginning of 2016 and ever since I was like five years old I've always wanted a dog. I remember going to the library the only books that I would ever get were books about different types of dogs, different ways to train them, and like just anything and everything related to dogs. I wanted a dog so bad. So around the time that I was 15 and I actually had a job, I actually ended up making a deal with my dad that once I started making enough money that I could actually get a dog. And that's when I decided to have Kai. I haven't shown it a lot in my videos, but I have had a lot of problems having Kai with me while I've gone on this trip. And because of this, I recently had to make a very hard decision. Do I keep pushing him to go with me on this trip, or do I make probably the better option of letting him go home? And if it weren't for two major things, I probably would have kept him, but even though I haven't really shown it in the video that much, Kai has major anxiety. If that wasn't obvious by all the things he's destroyed, he just gets extremely anxious on the road, and I'm unable to find any videos, but he will just scream and cry and just go completely crazy. and. But this is not just huskies howling, this is anxious crying and anxiety and it's a very stressful situation to handle on the road. And I have not been able to train him out of it. Unfortunately I feel like this is something that he developed a long time ago and it just felt like it was starting to become a selfish decision. So I had to decide between me wanting him to go on my trip and him constantly feeling this pressure. The other issue I've had with him is just, he has so much energy that even though he's very well trained for being a Husky, I can't trust him off leash. The first time I made the mistake of trusting him off leash, he got lost and I almost lost him in Colorado. I ended up spending two hours looking for him until I finally found him and that was pretty scary for me. So what is the plan for today? Well, I had a plan for the day. Until this, this little piece of crud ruined it for me. Just, Kai was just staring those deer down and then next thing you know, he was gone. He just jumped right out the window, took off. I mean, he, he was gone immediately. The deer took off and we had no idea where he went. I can name at least five or six times this has happened since I've been on this road trip. And opposed to being at home where he usually just stays in the general neighborhood, he kind of just wanders off and it's a very big struggle to try to get him back. I honestly don't know how I would handle the situation if something happened to him while I was living on the road. And the idea of him getting hurt or getting lost and me not being able to find him is something that I really worry about. This was not a decision that I made easily. When my dad was with me in Moab, we had talked about it, but I really didn't want him to go back home. I wanted to try to work things out so that he could stay with me on the road trip, but I think the reality of it is, is Kai is just not cut out for this life. At the end of the day, 
the number one reason that I had to send Kai home is I just don't think he's cut out for this living and traveling in a Jeep. For the first four years of his life, he's not only grown up with me, but he's also grown up with my family. And I think he was just very attached to being at home. I've noticed, especially when we were in places like going over to Sean's parents' house and stuff, that Kai really just likes being indoors. He, as much as he loves going on the hikes and everything, I've almost lost him multiple times. I just don't think it's a safe environment for him. I can't trust him off leash and he just really is an indoor dog. He was not cut out for this life. I feel like maybe things would have been different if I would have got him sooner into this traveling thing, but he's just not adapting well. He's a little bit older than Brody. Brody still has enough time to adapt to this lifestyle, I think. And then like Annie, for example, Jake actually got her as a puppy while he was living on the road, so Annie's never known anything different. And Kai's just so used to already living in his current situation that I just decided that it's probably best for him just to go home. Like I said before, this was not an easy decision. And it's something that I had been considering for months and I did not want this to be what had to happen, but it just didn't seem like there was any other option at this point. I don't really want to talk about it beyond that. And I think it's going to be better for both of us in the long run. But, you know, it's going to get lonely and I've already not been um, the most happy with this decision even though I feel like it was the right decision it's still been kind of lonely just not having him there and uh, so yeah uh, Kai went back home and I will still try to um, get videos of him and I'm sure that after I'm done with this road trip I will see him again or maybe even if I just get a little bit more comfortable with this road trip that maybe I'll try to bring him along with me again but until further notice Kai is back at my parents house I didn't just give him away to a random stranger I'd never get rid of him but he's living with my family right now until I am able to figure something else out so just wanted to make this video updating you guys on that and that's pretty much all